Hello, ever since my last video, I've been getting many questions about DALI 2. What is it? How does it work? How long does it take? Um, it makes sense right now because DALI is probably the most sought after product right now in the tech world. Many people are dying to just try it and, and see, see how it can perform. Uh, if you're wondering what it even is, so DALI is a product as well as a multimodal AI model from a company called OpenAI. And what it essentially allows you to do is enter some text, uh, probably in this field above. Uh, this text, you know, when you enter it, it's known as a prompt. And with that prompt, you can then generate images like these ones you see below. So for example, for this image right here, a Bauhaus style painting of Marilyn Monroe, this was text entered above, and then the AI basically generated that image you see here. It's the state of the art model. This is the latest and greatest multimodal image generation model right now. Um, and I'm sure you're wondering at this point, how can I try it? Um, well, in order to try it, you're gonna need to join the waitlist. I've put the link in the YouTube description below. I honestly think probably 99% of people who watch this video are gonna wanna try DALI afterwards, which is a huge, you know, crazy statement to, to, to make, but I genuinely believe it. Uh, DALI 2 is an incredible product with incredible uh, abilities that I think pretty much anyone in the world would wanna try. Um, you don't need to code. You don't need to be an expert tech whiz. You literally just use this website. You type stuff above and then images get generated for you. It's not just easy, but a lot of fun. So anyways, uh, I, I just also want to mention as well. So we're going to proceed with the demo, but I really just want to say as well that this is a demo of the current research product of DALI. I'm in the very early beta, probably the earliest batch for DALI 2. And so uh, by the time you may get access, whenever that may be, it may be different. It may have new features. Uh, it may look different. Stuff may be moved around. So let's go ahead and I've entered a prompt here. So I've entered a girl in front of a cityscape in the style of retrowave digital art. So like I mentioned, uh, a prompt when, you know, when we enter this text, it's, you know, a prompt is basically text. And the idea of a prompt is it's all about writing text that can sort of get an AI model to do what you want. Sometimes we may have to fool it in order to get what we want. But, you know, once we write a good prompt, and it does those things reliably, you know, that's that, you know, it achieves our goals, right? And so in this case, a girl in front of a cityscape, I mean, that's pretty easy to understand. You could probably visualize that right now in the style of retrowave. You know, this is just a descriptive art style I've chosen, but the real sort of essence of the prompt design starts here when I put in the comma and digital art. So I went ahead and hit submit. This digital art is sort of kind of fooling Dali in a way. It's basically letting it know we don't want a photograph. Uh, we want maybe an illustration and something artsy. And it will just know kind of what that means, what that looks like and generate this image with this format in mind. And so anyways, so you'll notice it took anywhere from four to 10 seconds to generate these images and it's generated 10 for us at, at the same time. Uh, this is a you know very fast speed and it's awesome. You have many options to choose from. Um, and so this is what the options look like. I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to browse the other results that were there. I really like this one. I love the, the background. I love the details around the sun. I love, you know, you can almost see the individual brush strokes around the, the, the character. Uh, this one has like a really cool view. Uh, this one is also looking at an awesome view. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're all, you know, within that, you know, style that we gave. I really like this one. Um, and you'll notice all the DALI generations have this square crop. Um, and it's a pretty high resolution design. I'm gonna go ahead and download this and show you guys now what, what that looks like. Um, and uh, also you'll notice this little signature, this little watermark here. Uh, this is the DALI signature. And the idea behind it is OpenAI, uh, you know, because DALI has the capability of also generating photorealistic images, OpenAI was saying that they want to include perhaps the signature with every DALI generation uh, because they believe people should should know if they should, you know, that should be disclosed if they're looking at an AI generated image or not. 
Anyways, so you, you've seen a few of these. Uh, if I wasn't happy or whatever, I wanted just something slightly different, I can just click it again. <laughs> and within a few seconds, I will have a bunch of new options to choose from. Uh, Dally is incredibly fast, usable, um, and gives you lots of different choices. You'll find yourself saving a lot of the different results it generates. Okay, so now we're looking at the second batch of downloads, uh, second batch of generations, which we can download. Um, we got uh, this one. I really like this one. This one's also cool. Very cool. She's like even looking away. I love the her sunglasses, you know, they match the sky. This one is also cool. Like, you know, I just want to reflect that to do this by hand, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's insane that, you know, this is where AI is at now where we can just be entering descriptions of, uh, you know, paintings, digital paintings and getting back stuff this high caliber. Let's enter something else. So I've entered an innovative group of employees in the style of Picasso. Um, this is something maybe you'd, you'd get from a stock photo, right? Um, and I thought, you know, let's, let's mix up a stock photo. Clearly Dali would know what that would look like as a stock photo, but let's take it to another level. This is what Dali came up with. Awesome. Very cool. I love the colors. I love the colors of this one. This one is also cool. This one is very interesting. I like the composition of all of these. Also cool. Now, let's raise the stakes even higher. So, I'm gonna go ahead and enter this prompt here. An orange wearing sunglasses and mid-calf socks. The orange is dribbling a basketball digital art. Now with this prompt, it's, you'll notice it's a little bit longer. It's more descriptive. I found in, more, in most cases, Dali is, it handles longer prompts just fine. There are some where I feel like it misses some elements. But again, like, you know, it's, it's still incredible. Uh, you know, you'll see uh, Dali is able to keep up with what we're asking, right? We have here an orange wearing sunglasses with the socks dribbling a basketball. Incredible. Uh, we have this one here. You know, this one looks a little bit more, a little bit more 3D. Interesting. Uh, this is a cool illustration. Very cool orange. Uh, we got this one here. I mean, it's not quite an orange. Interesting shape, maybe. And maybe the orange has also become a basketball. <laughs> Very cool. But you'll notice Dali was able to sort of stitch together what we were asking for. And we have, again, many options to choose from. Uh, if at any point I want to go back for some reason, I can just click here. And this panel on the right allows us to keep track of everything we've entered. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, it keeps it longer than maybe a couple hours or a day. And once you close this tab, it's gone. That's why for now, at least in the in the demo and the research demo, I'm saving a lot of these as I go along because I don't want to lose them. Um, let's quickly do a realistic image generation two, just so you guys have an idea. So I'm gonna enter a photo of a blue stapler in a startup office. Okay, this is what it came up with. We have this one, this one, this one. This one's also very cool. This one's maybe got a yellow bottom. Uh, notice the texture of, of this one. I don't know if you can see it with the light hitting it. Um, Dali is certainly, uh, you know, very capable with different materials and textures. Um, and also uh, it's really promising with different lighting uh, setups as well. Um, and so anyways, we have our stapler. Um, I wanted to just, you know, give you guys a taste of the uh, Dali's photorealism capabilities. Uh, now I'm going to show you another feature. So say we liked this image in particular, we can actually click this variations button here and it will take that original image and generate some similar images to that one. Uh, stuff that's kind of related, sort of has the same feel, sort of has the same vibe. And, you know, you can sort of branch off from a certain image that you like and explore its different variations and possibilities as well. Okay, our variations have been loaded. So you can see this one is maybe a maybe a lighter blue than the original. This one has a different shape. This one has like a different inner piece. Um, there's some others from different angles. 
all these images, if you kind of squint at it, you'd think they're the same image, right? And so the variations is really handy if, if you like the approach of one, but are looking for something specific uh, in particular in mind that's a lot like it. Um, I'm gonna now go back. So if I click edit, um, you'll notice the interface changes. So if I move my mouse, you see that you see that uh, brush there. So uh, it, it's now a brush. I can adjust the sizing here. I can make it smaller. I can make it bigger. And the idea of edit mode is I can uh, maybe erase something here and then go back up and then edit my prompt uh, and maybe add you know the sun in the background and you know hit regenerate again and so it would replace this area which I've brushed off ideally with a sun and then adjust the entire image using AI perhaps keeping the light and other details in mind making the image still look feasible. Um, there's also a, a capability where we can upload an image as well. So if I click upload, let's say I want to upload this one. So in case you don't know, I run a podcast on multimodal AI models like DALI. This is the new cover that I just designed. Um, I can upload it and, and sort of uh, build upon it once it's inside DALI. I can generate variations, I can edit on top of it. Um, interesting fact, uh, this podcast cover was designed by this product. It was designed by DALI2. Um, this core image, you know, with the starry background, the character of me, the light, this, you know, this was made in DALI2. The only things I added on top was the text and this sort of texture, uh, this faded texture and the black border. I had to do that still in Photoshop, but uh, you get the idea. So I can, I basically uploaded it. I can edit the image or generate some variations. I'm gonna go, go ahead and click generate variations just so you can see what the upload capability will do. All right, so the variations are generated. Uh, it So it did change the, based on the original, it did change my character. But uh, you know, I'd say it did a good job capturing a lot of the essence of the podcast cover, um, the vibe that I was kind of going for. I, I like this one, I definitely like this one. Um, and from here I can I can edit it, I can make further changes. It's it's just like a part of DALI, just like as if DALI generated the image. So um, lastly, I just wanna say, so unlike other OpenAI products, DALI is even available as an app that you can use on your phone. So I'm hopefully gonna be showing that now on the screen. Uh, most of the functionality is there and it's really handy and fun to use at, at breakfast, before bed, when you're out with friends. Uh, you know, when you're talking to somebody casually on Signal or WhatsApp or something, and you can quickly look it up on DALI on your phone and then paste those images too. It's really fun, it's awesome. Um, and so anyways, we are now at the end of the demo. I just also wanted to say, so this has not been a review video and not necessarily a tutorial either. I'm gonna be following up with both of those things in the future in, 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 in follow-up videos. Uh, for now, it's pretty clear, this is mind-blowing technology. Honestly, this is the stuff dreams are made of. Uh, anyways, if you're interested in hearing my full review and tutorial, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Believe me, I've got lots more DALI 2 content on the way. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.